Yesterday I made one of my favorite meals and made corned beef and cabbage and it's really easy to make corned beef. You just, you take that meat, you stick it in some water, you get it boiling, then you turn it to simmer and you let it simmer for, you know, two and a half, three hours. Two and a half, three hours depending upon the poundage. It turned out wonderful and I'm cutting into it, getting it ready for dinner and my oldest daughter Natasha comes over and she looks at it and she says, oh dad, oh that's gross. Are we, are we eating this for dinner? Because I'm not eating that for di Can we go to McDonald's? This little encounter led to a discussion as to why she needs to try a piece of corned beef. I am not trying that, Dad. It's nasty. I put a little piece on the fork and she did the whole with the nose pinched. And she took one bite of it, chewed it up, looked at me and said, Hmm, that's actually not too bad, Dad. This animated comedic moment with my daughter reminded me of something that I have struggled with for years being ADHD and that is trying. If I were to ask you what do you think prevents a person from trying, well there's a list of things that you could probably offer. You might say, well the fear of failure or the idea of what others might think, laziness, the lack of focus, procrastination, that shiny thing over there in the corner of the room. Oh what is that? Yeah, it's a Starbucks coffee cup. I love coffee. But what I've discovered about myself, being that I have ADHD, that most of the time the culprit is my warp sense of pride. That if I could not try something and, and do that something at a high level, that I was no good or that I was weak. Early on in my career, I had a lot of individuals ask me at my events, hey, have you written a book? Have you put something out? Grammar, spelling have never been a strong point for me. And I knew that if I were going to write something, I wouldn't be able to do it on my own. My wife looked at me and she said, Ben, you need to get over it. We need to remember that there are some things in this world that we don't need to do ourselves. If I were to try to do this on my own, it would never have gotten done. And now, today, I realize, hey, it's okay to work together. It's okay to ask for help. Setting aside my pride... I didn't stop with that first book, but I wrote this book. Hey, you see that guy right there? That's my coach. He showed me how to box. Couldn't have done it without him. Hey, you see this Bigfoot? I didn't do this alone. I asked for help. My two brothers helped me. I wrote this book, and look, it's even co-authored by a good buddy of mine, Larry Metcalf. And oh, by the way, we did another one. Hey, you see that painting up there? Yeah, someone helped me. His name's Ray Downbeck. Showed me how to draw trees. Thanks, Ray. My latest collaborative efforts, Frog Bombers, an iPod app, and there's no way I could have come up with that without my good buddy Jim Boyd. So my overall point is this, find out the things that are preventing you from trying and get those things out of the way. I believe you have so much to offer, especially those of you that have ADHD, the ideas, the creativity, and without you trying, we're going to miss out. We're going to miss out on some really cool things. Sometimes it takes a collaborative effort to get the job done. Hope you've enjoyed today's vlog, and as always, this is Ben Glenn reminding you, keep moving forward.